Hello people, welcome to a new video. Today is 17th of June 2023 and in this video I'll be talking about the updates that have been made to the LinkedIn Easy Apply bot using Python and Selenium. First of all, I'll go over the changes very quickly and then I will be explaining in details. Uh, so in case you are interested to maintain the bot yourself, uh, we should give you a heads up. Number one, I've improved the help documentation for people who are not, uh, they don't have any background in programming. So they should be able to adopt the bot and use it. Number two, I've made, um, I've basically added several new skills in the config YAML file. And then number three, I noticed that at least in my case, the bot was getting stuck uh, in an endless loop of responding to a question about notice period in weeks so it seems it was a new question and bot was not able to answer it hence it was getting stuck in that particular application and uh, it was neither failing as a whole because if it fails it's supposed to go to the next job but it was not failing while uh, it was also unable to provide any input hence it was sort of a dead end on that one application number four uh, it seems that also LinkedIn made some changes in the back end. So the expected salary input that the bot was entering, LinkedIn was seeing it as a text value, not a numeric value. Hence, it was calling it invalid input. So that's the fourth change I have made in the in the bot. So now let's go uh, to the repository in GitHub. Number one, I have adopted the code from previous developer. It seems that he was not uh, maintaining it anymore. So these 14 changes are made by me. And going through the changes one by one. So this is a new health documentation. I have added some more details. And then I have also added the link to my video. So in case if somebody is new, they can go over this video and they should be able to watch the video and should be able to start. And then some more details. And then also, I was uh, getting a repeated questions on a common error. So I have also posted it here. And then uh, I've just added, in case if you would like to sponsor or support me, I have added a PayPal link. It is purely optional if, and voluntary. If you don't want to pay anything or support, that's fine. The, um, now let's go to the changes in the code. So for example, if you see this code on the right side, this is a new code after changes and this is the previous code so here you can see i have added weeks notice so it's a keyword and as soon as the bot detects these keywords it will provide uh, input uh, first of all it, it will convert the configuration uh, value into a numeric input and then it will provide the response to the question there is one other thing about the salary here this is also it was appearing as a text value to LinkedIn for some reason. Now this one I'm here, I'm forcing it to input the value as if it is a number. Although to human eye, that still looks a number, but for web browser and LinkedIn, it was appearing as a text, a text value. So here I'm forcing it to input the value as a float, basically uh, a number. All right. Other change I have made in the config admin file. This is the primary file where a user uh, configures everything. So if you see here, it's comparing head to head. Left is the old code and on the right side we have a new code. So here uh, I've made some minor changes. Uh, but the important change here is uh, is the, um, give me a second please. Yeah, here. So here I've defined a new input, which is called notice period and you're supposed to provide a value in weeks. So this is here it goes. And then also I have added several new skills, at least in my case I noticed um, these are the ones which were repeatedly asked. So I have, if you see here, for example, if I compare line by line, you'll see the previously the list stopped here, writing and editing here. So all of these, VBA, Power BI, Power Query, Excel and whatnot, are new skills that I have added. In case if you have some more ideas to be added, please create an issue. You can go to my uh, GitHub and then you can go to issues and send me a request to add new skills and I'll be more than happy 
to add those as a um, as an input all right so uh, with this also uh, as I said I have uh, adopted the code from this guy uh, uh, previously it was maintained by Madingas and uh, before him it was originally developed by I believe Nathan so he took it from Nathan and then Nathan went like uh, he abandoned the project maybe then it was taken over by uh, Mike he also uh, abandoned the code so eventually I am now uh, maintaining it so this is only to mention uh, just to give them a due credit is not my uh, my original work I'm just maintaining it and trying to improve it all right so um, I hope uh, you guys are enjoying the bot and thanks for using it and thanks for watching my video